Bad, 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 we're the fat peeps. Hey, peeps. <gasps> Hello. 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 What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Fat Peeps podcast. Wow. I don't remember what episode this 26. is. 26. Wow. Uh, we are the Fat Peeps. I'm Joey, your host today, nice, and I'm nice. here with PJ, aka Tech3200. Hello. Oh, wow. Hey, PJ. Hi, PJ. Garrick, aka Big Target. Hi, hey, me. Garrick. Hi. And John. A.K.A. Hi. Cameraman John. Hi, John. Hi, Jean. I love how you said host Hi, today. Jean. Like, it hasn't been that way for yeah, 26 like, episodes. Yeah, like, I'm not always the host. <laughs> just yeah, just for know. today. It's just but like a turn a... phrase. Yeah, exactly. You gotta know what his title I'm is. I'm your so host today. Be... Oh, okay. And we're gonna... Or I, the... I, I don't know. Maybe, like, I'm I'm your host for the, the podcast. For, Wait, just for Joe, no, just for host. this episode. So That's gonna turn to a running bit. I'm gonna say I'm your host today and like every day. <laughs> Joey, Joe, after 26 episodes, Joey is still on uh, probation. He's yeah, yeah he's mm-hmm. establishing it still. He's like, I don't know, maybe. Anyhow, like, yeah, we'll see. We'll you see. don't get your benefits yet, Joey. We're, Not we're, at all. We're anyway, he's waiting for tenure. We're the Fat Peeves. This is the Fat Peeves podcast where we talk Whoa, about wow. video games and other entertainment. And tech related <gasps> stuff oh, that we're into. Stuff and we want to I like bring stuff. to other people. Wow. But of course, we always wow. like to start the show with the icebreaker question <gasps> oh, of the is, day. Wow, so <sighs> cool. So minty. Fresh. Um, Today's mint. icebreaker is no, no, what no, is no, 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 no. an embarrassing experience <clears throat> you've had in public? Oh, oh that great God. question, sure. Joey. Wait, what? Who, what? Oh, uh, oh, my whole like... life is an yeah, ex- yeah, it's a <laughs> existence. experiment. My whole right, experience. Chalk the whole thing. End of story. Yeah. Um, I gotta think. Oh man. Do you want to go? I'll just start it off or... since I asked oh, first. Okay. Go for it. Or uh, 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 since it's my question. Oh, uh, this is your question. It's not. Oh. Yeah. Why? Oh. oh, I just I didn't. Oh. I didn't expect it. Oh. I didn't oh wow. Because I was like, uh, oh god. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of embarrassing experiences, mostly. Uh, but the one that I remember is when I would like, like that's funny and worth saying is, uh, go uh, when I used to work as a dog trainer back in the day, uh, I would help help out the floor by helping customers, and that's so uh, embarrassing. Oh god, I, I know it's so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, what? I I don't know <laughs> why I decided to do this. I know, uh, oh. but it got really busy, so I just kept going, uh, going more, uh through customers like no other and then i came up to an aisle with uh with somebody somebody's back Some turned to me booty. nice long flowy hair oh, wow. short shorts and everything and i said had this. hey uh how you doing ma'am uh how oh, can i help no. you why'd you do that <laughs> and and it tur- and the person turns around it tur- turns out to be a fully fledged dude uh so oh, but wow. as he, but the cool thing is that he was turning around so i was saying how you do as he's like right when i say ma'am i'm so i said how you do it man <laughs> so i survived another day but i think he caught on but so, we just but that's not even embarrassing then you you also like you dodged it first off and second off i feel like everyone's had it that happens experience all the time though that happened yeah. to me last week and it's then, relatable. I, like legit person. It's like a retail experience. Well, well, I said yeah. ladies. On the other end and then of like that situation. Oh yeah, I've been yeah. in it okay. at least Me a too. handful of times. But oh, wow. Back like when especially when I had longer hair or like when I was a kid, there's one that stuck out because I used to wear basketball clothing, but I had like really glittery ones when I was younger for some reason. Glitter. Like one huh. set that was glittery for whatever reason. Right. And like they said ladies. But this Hello, that happened girl. to me. Like I said, ladies. <laughs> yeah, I was like thirteen, so it's like yeah. my voice is high anyhow. But Wait. I said ladies to a group of uh, people last week, and there was one guy in the group, and I was like, oh, "You're not man. a lady, you're a guy," and then I laughed it off, and they were like, "Ha!" Uh-huh. 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 Well, see, that's the thing about this Wait experience. Off, it's the retail version of waving to somebody that they're not waving when they're not <laughs> waving at you. Oh God, how many? Do you know how many times I've done that before? Oh, happens God, all the so time. Bad. So you're just like you end up like pretending you're stretching, oh, or no. you just like 
Oh, no, you're you... stunned, and then you just pull out your phone and turn around and just like yeah, just walk it away. never no, existed. You really fuck with the person because you do the opposite, like or the 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 same back to them, so they're waving, and then you think they're waving at you, but then when they look at you, like <laughs> oh you're waving at me, you pretend like you're waving at the person behind them. <laughs> oh God, it's just Wave this double-edged sword. It's yeah, so no, so that's how that's how you fuck up that situation. Make it like it's in, just your, a domino in your effect. court. Uh, oh my goodness! Mine, <laughs> mine's a tie, and mine were oh, wow. both children's stories. So, one was in kindergarten, uh, when we had like our playtime, like recess or breaks or whatever. We used to have this little like sand pit outside, uh, that had like little toy boats and everything in it, and it had water in it. And I didn't realize I had to go to the bathroom and I was playing in the water and then I pissed myself. <laughs> and oh, so no. I, I like everyone went back in cause we got called back in and I'm sitting there outside with piss in my pants, <laughs> just oh, sitting God. with my hands in the water, like devastated by the fact that I pissed my pants and like hiding, just hiding out there waiting to see if anyone would like come find me and eventually someone came and found me and then my pants got changed and everything but that was like one of the worst experiences ever even though like i know everyone in the class probably pissed themselves at least like two times that week so it wasn't a big deal mm -hmm. wow you got a lot of uh, pant pissers. Well, I mean, case. like they had a Damn. whole closet full of changed uh, pants ready to be changed that they could like Wait, give to the in parents. Your class. Yeah, oh, they had like a spare that's... pants closet. Wow, wait, what, what are... school did you go to? <laughs> what? PJ, I don't remember this. <laughs> they, they, that's where I went to get my spare pants. So they had a closet. PJ well, was the I... main corporate, corporate of, of all the pants being. It, yep, it was just me. I uh, pissed it all was just, the yeah, pants. Yeah, for PJ. Yeah. <laughs> that was all PJ's pants. So that's the one that stuck out the most. But then in like second or third grade, there is a girl. Oh, I'm so just going to call her H. She was a very H? tall girl. Oh, Heather. Yeah, got it. God mm -hmm. damn it, John. Wait, really? Did I get the name right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the anyhow, so out. there was a girl no, named just stop. H. You can cut it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's If she listens to this, she's going to probably either laugh or hate me more. Uh, I was getting up off the ground, and my ass happened to be facing her way, and I farted wait, wait, <laughs> when I got up. Oh. Okay. Oh, and it was wow. towards her Goodness. face. My my ass. Right. Uh -huh. Bear. No, we're not bear. Why the hell would my bear ass be out? You went to, you went to a weird just, school. So I... Maybe you were changing your pants again. Yeah, we don't know. Don't know. <laughs> and yeah, so that was the accidental, like, let it out. Because I didn't realize my stomach was hurting so bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. She, she happened to be the target. And she, she played it off so sweet like she got upset Aww. but it was like very nice upset like oh did you do that like but she didn't yell it out or anything like that so i thank her to this day that she didn't embarrass me in front of the whole class because she could have yeah. torn me apart with that she was always pretty chill though she was she was a super sweet girl so yeah i'm sorry heather i did not mean to <laughs> shit my pants. i wish her Next well person. wherever Let's go. she is oh man Wait, what? i didn't give anything uh, John. There's, there's so many embarrassing. They just all I know. Of, I have you know, another one. Mix but mingle together. Um, oh man, like bypass it. Most, what is in, uh, in public? I can't. I can't think. Joey, you uh, say something. Uh, I used to fall asleep in class all the time, and teachers would make fun of me. Oh, that's not embarrassing. Wow. I used to do that too. <laughs> what do you mean it's not embarrassing? It's no, but, much. like, one particular experience that, like, you look back at that every once in a while, and like, I still can't believe I did that. Oh, no. See, I don't have those. I blocked those out of my memory. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, those are just, like, what? Away. I have, like, lists of these. Like, I could go on for ages all the situations that oh, I got Oh, maybe into. we'll do that but... on our next chill cast. Chill cast? Like... Yeah. Also, I mean, also, if this was, like, a paid therapy session with professionals, then I would <laughs> dig deep for you guys. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, also, you're not getting usually, much from me. Usually those things pop up when I don't want them to pop up, you know what I mean? It's like when I'm oh, having a good yeah. day, or it's like, and then that thing yeah. happens, like, oh my god. You deal god, with that problem with your uh... waistband, John. Right? It, wait, what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I had the cogs turning for a little bit there. <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, yes. I mean, if, we're, I... If, we're, if we're going to, like, poop and pee stories... It's oh, not wow. that embarrassing, but um, yeah, it's also, natural. I think I think I think in second grade, 
I wasn't the pooper, right? Oh. Uh, somehow I kicked a turd in class. <laughs> oh. It's a, it a big old poop poop mark. I like, hate shit. it when that happens. <laughs> And I was like, "What the fuck?" Well, is you know, the first what grade the teacher, fuck? Like, what, what, <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is that? Well, no, I was, I was more confused than anything. And <laughs> this was when everyone's going to the rug to sit down, right? So now you have this big old log, you know, on the ground where everyone's supposed to sit, and everyone's just looking at it. They see me, you know, <laughs> kicking it, so it looks like it came out of my pants, right? <laughs> oh. I was wearing jeans. I was wearing jeans, and I was like. The teacher was like, "Okay, this is I don't I forgot what the teacher said, but I was like, I was that oh, that's not me. I didn't do it. I just uh, it just hit me." And the teacher's all like, "I feel like she didn't had no idea how to take care of it." Uh, she's like, <laughs> she "Oh, didn't well, believe just you. go just go to the bathroom, clean up." I was like, "Oh, okay, cuz I did have poop stains on my shin, right?" So I I, 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 I was like, <laughs> "Oh, it wasn't shit. me." As I was walking out, luckily one girl was like, "Oh, it's probably a girl with a skirt," which confused me even more as a little boy cuz I was like, Everyone's underwear. How does that happen? It just but slips anyways, through. I don't right, know. I, well, I don't know. It's like maybe the girl's not wearing underwear. I don't know. Things were racing my head when I was going to the bathroom cleaning up. And then um, I got back, and I was still so confused because we still haven't figured out where the poop came from. The mystery. Well, wait. How do you know it's the human poop? Yeah. Like, it it could have been, it it like been a nasty poop. kid Yeah, bringing in dog poop and just yeah. tossing on the floor. Or, I mean, it, like, well, I don't know. My but little... school... <laughs> I don't know how your, like, school yard yeah. was, but, like, ours was adjacent to, like, a baseball diamond, like a... Ours was next to a park, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, like, a lot of people would, like, bring their dogs in. And yeah, but this was in the classroom, the right? Yeah, it was in the classroom. So, oh, you stepped, you kicked poop in the classroom. Yeah, yeah so it was, it was definitely yeah. a kid okay, that so shit himself. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, that's where this, All like, ninja. confusion um, happened. I, remember I thought was... you, like did it outside and then yeah. came in after recess <laughs> oh, and no, you all no, like no, sat like, down yeah everyone's going like i think we're doing something if, if no maybe, that was definitely him. <laughs> yeah so i mean it was it was like a type three poop i, I think it's, it's oh, like wow. it was, you know nice sausage shape had you know held shape was solid, oh at least he was but, hydrated you know, That's yeah if, mm -hmm. if you touch it you know it, it rubs on you you know yeah but again i went it's home like a, very a confused very embarrassed because like people probably thought i did it but i didn't I, yeah. I was so confused and embarrassed. Sean's like on his, I got home his so and I took off my pants to double check if there was any shit stains. <laughs> I was like, that was how confused. Did I was. do this? Yeah, I exactly. mean, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. You're like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Someone told you you did it, so you had to think yeah, maybe yeah, I did. Like, yeah, sometimes nobody else just, fessed up to it. It's like, yeah. And sometimes like, it just slips out. You just never right. know sometimes. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> Have you seen the video of? Oh, this is so gross. Like I think CTV, I know what you're CT, talking about. CTTV yeah. cam where guys looks like doing some weird jiggle with his foot. You're like, what's he doing with his leg? And, and then this turd shit just flies no, it was out a, of his pants, it was a, right? I thought no, a lady did that too. Oh, I, I watched a, a guy, a guy one. He was like a grocery store by the milk aisle, and he was like, yeah, just wiggling his leg, and then like turds come out his freaking pant leg. Did, like, yeah. like so he jeans. cognitively so shit like, himself. What? Right, exactly. So you're well, like, what? And, and the, okay, so my video that I watched, yeah. there was this lady the that fuck? had a, a long dress yeah. and she just wiggled out of poop and just walked on. See, it dress like, maybe in, like, in a dress kind of makes sense if you're not wearing the underwear. Who does this? <laughs> and but... the funny thing is, a dude walks in behind her and steps in oh, and freaks out that on the CCTV. I saw, yeah, I saw that one too. But, but the one with the pants, anyways, the, the one with the pants it's made me like I'm like wow that could have had that could have been a kid that did that because yeah. the whole oh. time I was like, no one like do that. your eyes shot you... open yeah, get a like, you how no, but roll like, down your pants like, I, here's I the didn't... somebody no they had to have pulled yeah. down their pants right because if like it was done like that there would have right. been residual poop in their like pants yeah, yeah. and it would have still smelled right you'd yeah. be able to trace the source <gasps> oh my god I just had a what if the girl that said that it was probably a girl that had Oh, God. It oh, my God. Oh. She was the one that was saying huh. it. She, was like trying to... <gasps> she needed to get the trail oh, off. Yeah. Shoot. Smelt Dude, I need to delt it. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> bum, bum. Mystery solved. Let's no, go but, back. Uh... Okay. So. To the scene of crime. It, it's hard for me to believe that whoever did that, though, had a clean trail, like a clean cut. There's no way. Exactly. It had to be like a girl without, you know, wearing a skirt without any underwear. The, Which the I, girls still have nasty no, it, shits, though. It could have been. It or could have just been some kid. Yeah, like a, anybody who just like pulled, or like dropped trout real quick. Yeah, dropped trout. No, but we're all like in class. Like it was, you know, it's like a small. It know, could. It grade. literally could have just been it a kid could, that was walking like, in and the, shit their in pants the, as they were walking. Yeah. 
in the chaos of a like kindergarten classroom right, or whatever sure, this yeah. is, I could easily see how a kid drops trow and poops and no. nobody notices. Yeah. But Joey, yeah. a three is a pretty solid poop. That's an easy like drops That's out of sure answer. whatever. Good drop, I mean, yeah. yeah, just like right out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was just a clean cut, like right in the, right on the. Why? Ground. Why would it make more sense for it to like pass through their pant? Well, that's what I'm saying. Than them to just that, pull their pants like, in. I real would quick. have assumed that was impossible until I saw that CCTV right. video of the guy. Right. Well, mm-hmm. sure, but I'm. You know. I guarantee you that guy <laughs> who did it. Yeah. Had residual stains oh, like oh, all yeah, down. Probably. No, yeah, because when it, it hit my leg. Down his leg and stuff, right? Yeah, because so when it hit my saying. leg, I had this to clean kid, my leg. Yeah, this kid had to have had had to have just like dropped trowel yeah. and dumped it. What if it was the because teacher? Otherwise, it, it would have been residual <laughs> like right. poop, and you would have been able to trace it. Guy, yeah, and he just plopped it out of his pants and blamed it on the kids. Yeah, that's why I didn't know how to react. <laughs> yeah, clearly it was the adult yep. in the room. Yeah. Makes sense. Right, so that was my. That's. I mean, it wasn't the most embarrassing. There's far more embarrassing. I can't remember. But again, it's gonna pop up when I least expect it. But that's that's my story. I like that one. Once that's again, good mystery. waistband, John. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. waistband. I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you mean belt? Belt. I think a belt will hold better. Uh, yeah, like a nice. The desk. Waistband. You could use the desk, desk for like ten yeah. seconds. Yeah, that's true. Just think about chairs. Think <laughs> about chairs. What's next? What, what, what's okay, next topic? let's move on to Call of Duty Corner. Oh, Call of Duty Corner! Uh, wow! Hold on! Wow! What wow, amazing! Oh. Perfect. I I can't Perfect. I can't get enough of this intro. Wow, we're starting with Call of Duty Corner. Wow. Yeah. yeah what we're a, just what a change of pace. Week. We don't have any like impressions of anything nice. other than Call of Duty to give, oh, yeah, so we're just gonna lead Season. on with Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Well, get ready for an hour of this. Can't no, wait. I'm no. gonna force it to be fast. Yeah. Trains. Also, the only thing that's what she said. Let's the only thing that matters. Trains. How do you feel about trains. the train? That's the only thing that matters. No. Freaking dope. God, but stop. Somebody doesn't want to land on John, it. John, no, you have Where's problems. Where's that spray bottle? Or awesome. PJ, get me the spray bottle. I like, I like trains. The industrial. Hey, okay, what about the train? It's cool. Nothing. Well, you know, it's a train, it's a... and it it goes slower than you run. <laughs> There's nothing me, about the train me, other than that it's a Doesn't train on the map. I don't think you can, you can slower sprint than faster you than the train. Wait, can you? You I don't can think sprint so. faster than the train. I think you can... it's slightly faster than sprinting. You can catch up to it, but once you get to a certain point, you can't. You can't like, like you, can, you can't. You, can you can't chase it to catch up to a car. Yeah. You would have to like jump onto it and then run across it to catch up to a further up car. Yeah, yeah, correct. Like yeah. If you're if you're directly behind it, you can't. You can't be. Able to yeah, if you're directly you behind it, it, there's no way you can catch up to get, jump. Yeah, on you have to it. be yeah. parallel with it. Yeah. Correct. The but, but it a, is moving... slow. Like but, yeah, any yeah, vehicle can drive faster than it. It's all right. It's it's not like I think they it's do have cool chests idea. in there, legendary chests like the orange ones. But yeah. I think they all need to be and like maybe add a few more goodies in there for it to be worth dropping on. Because uh, like maybe like we just Apex get a bad wall has that, though. A- Apex has that that ship and Fortnite. Doesn't Fortnite have something special? Too? Apex Fortnite has a train much. as well. Oh. Uh, well, I just remember uh, Apex having that big old ship that flies around and you can drop yeah, honestly, on it. Honestly, I'm going to be real. The drop ship's not really that great. Neither is the train yeah, in I mean, Apex. It's the same concept with the train. It's just like, oh, wow, it's moving. I, I, can get right I will withhold my opinion on the loot on the train until we do it again because mm-hmm. we had a bad roll with the chess on well, that. Well, like, that's always going to be the case. There were like drops two uh, out of the four chess, I think there were two orange chest so maybe maybe it is rng but so it has it has a chance but i i still think it's like it's cool but it's not like yeah. oh my god uh stadium we didn't uh, we uh, haven't uh, what, uh, wait uh, what about uh, train uh, station uh, train wait train station. oh train oh, station yeah, eh. but, uh, hold on but but train is cool because it adds something dynamic to the map yeah. where else it's only just player vehicles but this is just a completely kind of you know I still it's, imagine it's like the conductor is just you know? there going into the smoke, like just another day. <laughs> no, it's automated, dude. It's I, not I know automated. Trains. It's an auto- robot it's an train. automated robot no. train. I know trains. His I name is Bill, I like and he takes care of the train. <laughs> 
So it's, yeah, train train station. We didn't have too much experience with it because we've twice. been dropping everywhere else. But it, it feels adds, it opens like, it up. Yeah, it feels like it should be there. It felt so yeah. hollow. Yeah, before. you just pass through. Well, no, it was or literally go not hollow because yeah. you couldn't go inside of it. Yeah, That's exactly. but uh, what I mean is like it felt like it it didn't have any character. It's like you had. The, uh, I I agree with you on that. It's very yeah. It, it, it didn't feel off. it didn't feel like a train station. No. it just it felt was like more, a freight yard. Right, more of a like a, a facade more than anything. Yeah. Right. before just, season five, it just took up space rather than be a play space. It, yeah, know? it was just like, in the way. Yeah, I liked so what they did with it. Through. It's That's it's clean right. and it's a good battle area and it gives some close quarters for you to fight at in an open area such as that. Yeah, and uh, who, who can't not like trains? I like trains, so it's stadium. Oh, sure. We don't have extensive like gameplay at because we've been avoiding stadium like the play. It's so busy there right now. It's right? very yeah. Busy. It's so hot. Uh, well, we, even when so we get hot. there, we still like treat it like you can't go in. We just go yeah, we go around, go around, around it. it. Well, no, you guys did. I went in and yeah. got blasted for it because there was people yeah. waiting inside. Well. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole nother beast. It's like it adds like a big percentage of like uh, a land that you can actually traverse. Right. So. It's kind of crazy mm -hmm. to think about it, but it's like five percent of it, the map. The, yeah, yeah. The thing about it that you don't think about is like when you're looking at it from a top-down perspective, it's not really that much of the map. But then but when you add in the fact that it's got like three stories inside mm -hmm. and then a whole basement area, it's actually like a really significant play space. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. You could Lots easily of fit a hundred people on yeah. that area, and uh, it well, still would have it, some space. It's so, been proven already. In my experience drops. with it, uh, and maybe this is just because it's like new and everybody wants to drop drop there. Loot hasn't been very good. Um, but I and I don't, I don't know if this is like because the when I was there, there just wasn't any loot or anything there, but like. The um, the like stands, right, with all the like seating, yeah, kind of feels like what's the point of it yeah. being there, other than the fact that you can like stand up there and <laughs> get verticality on people who are in the middle of mm -hmm. the field. Right. But other than that, it's just kind of like this pl it, this play space feels like it doesn't need to be here. Um, yeah. But the like inner corridors and like the locker rooms and like most it's of the other parts of the stadium. I think I think there's locker rooms. I might be wrong. Um, I but like, you have a box office, VIP box here. Uh, yeah. That's true. See, I there's think a lot of I interesting disagree. play spaces. I think the bleachers yeah. need to be there to create the aesthetic. No, you're right. That's the thing. Is the only reason, but that's the thing. The only reason the bleachers are there is to create the aesthetic. It's like it's well, there because it's like, of course, the bleachers have to be there. So and like. like like we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, I hope that there would have been a bigger explosion to blow out like the side of the stadium, so there's yeah. less like uh, opportunity to just kind of shoot into the the bowl into the yeah, field. Yeah, you were thinking like cutting it in half, so it's like the other not half necessarily of a cake, in half, just or like a piece like, of it being open, so like yeah, I get looks... what you're. Yeah, like Instead a building that's circles. falling apart during a war or something. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. no, I think I mean from the gameplay perspective, and correct me if I'm wrong, Garrick, but you wanted it to be opened up more, so it was yeah. it felt right. like part more of a like cohesive part of the map. How it is yeah. right now, it's kind of this oh, like own arena. sectioned off own arena, exactly. um, in a way that a, a lot of the other areas of the map aren't but are in some ways right mm -hmm. so like superstore i think is a good example of like a closed off arena right you don't have very many openings to shoot into superstore but it's a large play space inside that has a lot of room <laughs> yeah. for combat to happen exactly yeah but yeah, um, the, the thing that links superstore to the rest of the, the the map around it is the roof the roof on stadium is too high and it's just too out of place and it makes you too too much of a target to be on top of where a superstore has yeah. other I mean, space where you can be involved. Yeah, it's it's exemplified with stadium, but it's yeah, I agree with Joey. It's like the moment you enter through the doors, it's you're in a different You're game like playing mode, on a six v six or twelve v twelve map. Yeah, yeah you've yeah. entered a different play space effectively. I kinda, I kinda like those kind of just break apart different. Isolated. Like, yeah, isolate them a little bit. I, I like that. I guess. 
it does break it up, but and yeah, I mean, we have to try it out. It's, it's good for like prison. It's go ahead, John. Uh, uh, just, it's kind of like prison too, which it has its eyes oh, yeah. like, kind of like fight. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, yeah, and it's kind of good from a perspective of like you don't have to worry about getting shot from a bunch of different angles in those play spaces, right? Roxanne. Like they're they're. Unless you're, like, in the middle, right? If you're in the middle of the stadium, if you're in the middle of the courtyard in prison, yeah, like, yeah, you have to worry about 360 degrees around you. But for the most part in those play spaces, you have, like, a good defined idea of where threats can ever potentially come from in a way that, like, out in the open, you don't because you just have more flanks that are open and stuff like that. I don't know. It, stadium's yeah. interesting. We'll yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Part of the stadium, though, is... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, like, the Easter egg stuff in there is what yeah. really entices me, because I love the bunkers uh, in the last season, or the se what I, was it, three season, third season? I yeah, that was interesting. I could not care any less about the Easter egg it's stuff. Like, it's like it's a little fun. puzzle that some yeah, people fun. can try. Yeah. Like and, you need you need a lot of teamwork to get through. Yeah, to do that. it's the same thing for the contraband stuff. Like they added a new blueprint. I'm very disappointed that's an M14 <laughs> variant, but Terrible. at the same time, like I feel like the M14 will eventually get buffed, like the uh, foul did, and then everyone's gonna be using it. The M14 is fine. Uh, it's fine in multiplayer. It's uh, that's the thing. You guys don't ever play multiplayer, so yeah. But the, no, I play a lot of multiplayer game. Yeah, and the M14 is fine in multiplayer. It's not our like, go-to weapon, though. The foul's better. Sure, it better doesn't. It doesn't that. need the foul to does be. It better. Not not every weapon needs to be some like god tier weapon. And the no. thing is, the only no, reason the, no the only reason like the the okay. only reason the foul is better is because the foul is overtuned right now. Yeah, but the whole point is that. Like it's the ass case. It's better, not too. like it's okay. Go back. Go back to the lonely lagoon last season that was a contraband cool, yeah i love that it, it was cool it, it's like the ak is a better decision because it's used more but compared to the m14 i agree eh. with you though on that like i will say on that perspective yes it should be a weapon that is much more popular in the community right yeah the ax50 might not be the number one sniper i'm just but it's defending the m14 I'm yeah not. and i understand it's just like like would like would you see though like would people play it just because they get a new blueprint? But and in that case, I doubt it because it's not their go-to weapon. Unfortunately, um, yeah. So, so it's just like its value is lower than yeah, right. A That's different contraband because like, I'm not going to use that. Like I I might right. use it in like you said multiplayer, but I only mm -hmm. mean I. Mean, I, I play multiplayer, but I play multiplayer to level guns or to grind out the battle pass. I don't really play multiplayer so much to like be good at multiplayer. I play Warzone for that. So I play it to have fun. It, <clears throat> yeah, that's relax. what I'm saying. Like it's a relaxation thing for me. Oh god. Um, yeah, and like I personally find multiplayer way more enjoyable than Warzone. Like I find Warzone. Oh, but Warzone's stressful so and boring at the same time. Oh, no. oh really? I don't mm. know. It's yeah. so much fun. It's it's fun to like have to think through the situation rather than I'm, just be like I'm running gun shooting crap. I'm so stressed out about winning <laughs> and playing well. And well, I was like that when die, I first started I'm playing so it too. I'm so stressed out about having to get people back into the game and like get money <laughs> to buy. Like it's not a fun experience for me. Yeah. That's See, that's the way I used to be yeah, when we first fun. started playing Warzone. But then I got to a point where I was just like, okay, this is part of the process. Yeah. Then you I start mean, so, seeing okay. like what's happening. Like now our games of Warzone, they feel like we're down to 25 people instantly i'm just like holy crap we're in the final already yeah and then even if like we're like in a bad situation where one person has to get a wanted if i have to get the wanted contract i don't care if i die because yeah. it's a yellow situation right because it's just like this is again. the last bet anyhow and you know what all yeah. of our wins have basically been from the the most wanted like, contract yeah coming back from like the brink of death right like, it's death. Been, it's been kind of exciting lately. So. That's why I'm glad Anyways. they. I thought that contract was gonna be dumb as hell in season three when they added it, and then now it's like my favorite contract. Uh, yeah. Until I realize about reviving your bringing teammates. it back. Yeah. It's really. Uh, 
going back to the the top of stadium, the rappel points that they added all over the map. Uh, oh yeah. Rappel I think that was wow. a, that was a much needed addition, oh, especially yeah. over yeah. at the. It took the a little flag. while. Uh, we actually got a win. You, everyone will see it eventually, but we got a win oh, wow. because That's of spoilers. the the rappel over at mm. the prison. So check out that video when it comes out. Probably like yeah. dub fourteen or fifteen. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, the the rappel points were like super super needed they should for have been all out of the, the buildings and season. stuff like that yeah because yeah, like the a running trend from the beginning of warzone is the power positions on top of buildings are too mm -hmm. much they're right. too it... powerful it's too hard to push people on buildings if you don't have a helicopter or something to push with well and it's not yeah. really just helicopters towards the end of the game if you die and come back at like a last minute gulag you're getting rewarded for dying because you have a, a chance to position yeah. yourself. Yeah, absolutely Whereas true. if someone stays yeah. alive the well, whole like, game and yeah. bypasses the gulag, they lose that opportunity. They're now putting them now hard position. Like that, which is good. Yeah, and you that was a big... Position? The damn elevator? That's nice. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah, that's I love that. New repel, repel point. Thank yeah. you. So Where I will make a needed. small small complaint about the repel points. You need to be able to repel at the same time as other yeah, people. Yeah, I was just about the, to say like, I delay on. Like, what the heck is that for? Like, you know, I don't know. It's just it's so they I'm, can't I'm have like a whole to... team of people going up at the same time, and they don't want to cause any. Well, glitches. but you should be able to have a whole yeah. team go up yeah. at the same time. So, like, so, not okay. at exactly at the same time, but the like only with one person's up. The only time the repel point can, should be say. So should say in use is when someone's going up and someone's intending to go down. Like someone's up there ready and trying to go down. Repel is in use. You can't go down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Going up. Or an enemy is using it. No, you should be able to follow them. Yeah, yeah I guess so. If everyone's going it up. It would create much more interesting gameplay. I just feel like yeah. it would break more stuff too. Because it, the problem is it, it's still a choke point if one person can only can jump, go up. Or, yeah, right. Like, it doesn't yeah. give... If someone could follow an enemy right up right afterwards and not have to wait for it, that yeah. doesn't give the enemy time to sit there and set themselves up. They have to turn around instantly and hope to God they, they're quick enough for the person yeah. to get, like, once the but, person gets up there. But at the very least, uh, repel points kind of reduces the annoyance of downtown. That's the main reason why we've avoided that. Uh, it's but fixed it makes a lot more of options. Yeah. Because so many wanted contracts just camp up there and it's like, oh wow, there's a wanted. We get more we can get some quick money, but oh I forgot we're in downtown. We have to climb all the stairs because they're probably uh camping a uh the elevator. So well so let's I just skip. I feel like it's like they a freebie. Do a lot of things to try to uh condense or try to like sidestep glitches or issues which that's like another one of our topics today like uh all the issues that are going on this season like the gun glitches like the geometry breaks on oh, the guns terrible. almost every other game right now uh for all of us it's consistent sometimes the screen will just go into a tizzy and start spinning all around like you're in a washing machine uh, I think that's that's the same glitch. It's just that it's just taking. It the whole just does the full like screen it's... instead of just yeah. your gun. Yeah. yeah. Um, what that's other interesting. glitches I, have we run into? I would say I haven't played as much as you guys, but I played. You know, maybe it doesn't happen. Probably in multiplayer. played like five or six. It only happens okay, in so Warzone. Okay, so it's only happening. Okay, I only played two games yeah. in Warzone. Because I played a lot of multiplayer this season already, and I haven't it's gotten it once. It's very hit and miss. Um, yeah, because like... I've seen that exact glitch in the past in multiplayer. But this is like the most consistent I've seen it happen. Yeah, but yeah. The, okay. the in, like we can't pin it. Like we don't yeah. know if it's like this weapon, but and then the next next round it's not the weapon, and we're not affected at all. It's totally random. Well, it, it might not the... be. You know, it's hard to. It could be totally unrelated. Right. It, it could just be, be like if you look at a specific thing on the map and that causes it, or if you press the pause button right when you're doing something. You know, whatever. Yeah. It could be anything. But it's just like those are frustrating game breaking bugs that fuck us up because like we've legit had a situation where we were at the end of the game. We were in the top eight, I think, and we lost yeah. because someone yeah. had a completely broken gun and couldn't well, I think yeah. all help three of us. All of us, yeah. Like it's, every weapon yeah. I picked up, the geometry is so broken. Terrible. In the model that so, like, you not see I think two and, of us and, had snipers and the last guy had nothing. 
Yeah, and so because like, of that, we got so frustrated and just quit. We went to multiplayer, even though we had like we wanted to keep playing Warzone. So, yeah, so it wasn't like, worth it on. for us. So okay. there's we're. I was gonna say we're running long on this topic. Let's move on to the new guns. Uh, and is it ninety four or ninety one? Ninety four. ninety four. I think it's a good gun. It has great potential. You just gotta unlock the uh attachments for it. Uh, same thing for the uh ISO too. But the ISO right out the box feels good and it has good iron sights. Yeah. I think they both the have ISO good iron sights. What? The ISO I want terrible iron sights. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't I, like I, I agree with Joey. I don't know where you're coming from with those The squares. ISO yeah, has statistically so the worst time to kill in a twenty year old magazine. Like it's, it's bad. The I like the it. iron sights takes up half the half the screen, PJ. Like it, it, it blots out the person that you're trying to shoot, but I don't know. I uh, it. yeah, the 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 starting kit, uh, the base weapon is terrible. Like you, once you get more ammo in there, like a bigger mag. Yeah, once you get the bigger mag for it, it's like decent. Yeah, but with I, just it, the twenty it, round mag, it's, it's like real rough. It I is love rough the leveling it up. of it. It the... it makes you like. It's good for pushing. I think it's going to be a great weapon for Warzone. Yeah, I think I'll probably take MP5 off at least one of my classes for I it. I the like thing the is, is well, why would you run an ISO over an MP7? Well, because for me, it depends on my class. So, like, if I'm running a sniper, right, uh, I'll put my MP7 on that class because that gives me short to mid range and then my sniper is mid to long because i'm running a car 98 with it if i'm running a long range sniper i'm probably going to be running an assault rifle with it and then if i'm running an assault rifle i'll probably run an mp5 as a secondary yeah so it all I depends mean, the okay but my I point had... is where where does the iso fit into that because like the Just iso has a worst time to kill in close range has a worse time to kill in close range than both the MP5 and the MP7. I and only to... has a 20 round magazine by default, whereas the MP7 has well, a better it, time to kill be and a 40 until round mag. It's maxed out first off. Like, I'm not going to use it until I have the 45 round mags. That's well, but I, I mean, even still, like, if it's maxed out, a maxed out ISO compared to a maxed out MP7, just like statistically, there's no reason you should pick the ISO over the MP7. It's just for using the gun purposes. I like the way the gun feels and looks. Sure, but I mean, like in terms of like meta best in slot. Oh yeah, like no you're one's trying gonna to go it. for a win. Yeah. I I don't I don't like use those meta weapons. I don't use the MP7. I use a vector and like other weapons. Like I'm trying to get off of the Bruin too because well, the vector's too, kind like, of semi meta too it's like a low tier meta but it's... it can yeah, it, it melts in it, close range but it's different it's a difficult weapon that's why people don't use it because you have to land your shots so right. i've died from using the vector and not having enough uh ammo so okay so but we'll say that's, that's and that's ISO... why i'm interested oh, in the oh, iso sure. uh, I, that's why i'm interested in the iso because i feel like if i can like it, I'm not gonna be playing the ISO in the same fashion as I play the Vector, like because of course the MP7 shreds really up close too, right? Compared to uh, to the ISO, I I feel like if I kit it out to be a more mid close range situation, and I will be a little more successful, more more in the same way of the MP7. So um, we'll see. We we'll have to test it out more though. Yeah, and I think the main uh 94 is kind of everyone can has the same consensus it's a it's a decent gun and that's it yeah, yeah I mean, the double tap. time out the a94 is banned in cdl and CDL. yeah so they they did a bunch of testing on it and oh, the double the the burst the, the burst is tap, yeah. so not only that but i don't know if it's a bug or what but apparently in full auto the delay between the the second round and the third round is even shorter than the delay between the first round and the second round so it's actually got like a three round hyper burst oh wow other than the two round hyper burst it's supposed to have and this is particularly noticeable at higher frame rates so it doesn't have it's not as good at 60 fps but as you like scale your fps higher the uh an94 gets better and better Wait, so, so it's like banned. If, if you're playing it at 144, 
it kills faster than if you were playing at 60. What? Yeah. Interesting. That's yeah. So crazy. I don't that's know if that gl- that sounds like a glitch to me. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a bug in the mechanics of the weapon or like what, but like yeah, it's it's banned in the pro league now. Like immediately, it was banned in pro league. So then and... it's it's better than an average oh. gun because it's broken. Oh yeah, yeah, it's broken basically right now. There's a lot of huh. people like a lot of YouTubers the first day it came out were saying like, oh, it's not that great. But yeah, a lot of people at first were just like, oh, it's decent or whatever, right? But now I feel the, like, like the, the math grouse has set been the done. gold standard because yeah. everyone yeah. as soon as the grouse came the out, grouse everyone not, was like, the grouse not even right. that much better than the M4 was. No, but I, I don't know. I, like, I feel like when it came out, everyone was like, oh, this is the gun, and now it's the like, gun. I don't know. Uh, well, that's just what it I was saw. just able to touch touch people from like a really far range. With yeah, it. it's just it the was lack like of universally. It was universally effective. Um, yeah, with the like iron type scenario. being awesome, like the iron type yeah. was great. So, yeah. It's oh yeah, we're gonna move story. off of the guns. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, I was battle gonna pass. Have to get what to do say guys... anything? Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. How do you? What oh. do you think about the end? Well, okay. So, uh, the whole, like with the double tap of the uh, AN ninety four. It's a great comeback kind of weapon. So if somebody already engages you, if you land those first shots, you're gonna come back and maybe win even even before, uh, e- even before they finish you. That's, right, but to, that's, to flip that, if they're using the N94, then they're just gonna hyper burst you before you can even turn around yeah. and react. That's true. So if it becomes a meta, it's just like it doesn't matter. It cancels itself. Out. And it's kind of yeah. like the N94 always has this issue. Where it's like it, they like struggle to balance the burst and its like potential. Like I remember in Battlefield Four, there was a while where it was just like AN ninety four meta, right? And like Call of Duty has had this multiple times across other Call of Duty games. Like Black Ops uh, Three, I think it might have been maybe two was like AN ninety four meta because you just blap blap and people die. That's that's part of the like that's a real thing of the actual gun right like in irl it is a real thing about the actual gun okay. like in real life it does have that hyper burst function the weapon is also like mechanically incredibly complicated and oh, wow. difficult to break down and stuff like that so people don't like really run it in real life that often gotcha cool but um yeah so uh battle pass some cool things i like the the 80s skins i know john hates them but i love them the turning into fortnite you got some gold mask suit wearing guys and uh pros mm-hmm. yeah it's, it's the it's, i think I, the I like custom that. fart trails are dumb custom fart trails are dumb uh yeah but yeah i, I, I don't know I, I think it's it's people like it you know because yeah. it's fortnite style it's like very uh I don't know what's that word like. I don't know. Cringe. Cringe. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't <laughs> dislike it. I think it's an evolution in the game. It will. Yeah. It will go past it eventually. I mean, it's uh, a pr- no. It's it, gonna get worse. It's gonna be like now. Next, you're gonna have like a guy carrying a a backpack with like a dragon on or something. That's that's what's coming. Yeah. Later yeah. on, it's gonna get and worse. It's, it's I think popular. this is like it's kind popular. of why I'm getting a little bit like less enthusiastic about Call of Duty. Is it's like. Like, what are the big things in it this patch, back really? To right. the hatred yeah. of no, <laughs> no, it's not that. It's more like, um, what what was the big patch here, right? So it's like we got like some new areas in the Warzone map, a, a game mode that I'm not really enthusiastic about, a couple new multiplayer maps, which is all right, and a new ground war map, which I kind of don't really like ground war map because like, or ground war now I'm. I don't know how I feel about ground war. A lot of the ground war maps are bad and it just feels like they're not curated or like designed in the way a battlefield mm. map is. So they're not very no, good that's the, because that's they're the just designed they're, for the war zone or yeah, for war be, zone. They're supposed to be battlefield, um, but they're not battlefield. So, and like you look at the trailers and, and stuff like what is, what is the update really? It's a new battle pass and new stuff to sell you in the store. Yeah, right. And they're all silly looking, like yeah. non-military, grotesque, like 
which makes know. sense for like a wider audience. But it's like, yeah, I like sure. Call of Duty because of the military. Like it's not right. I know it's not a military sim, but I like the military aesthetic. And yeah. coming into the game, like when like season one and like you know with the campaign and stuff, they were definitely sticking with that more grounded aesthetic. Yeah. Mm. And it feels like I I assume that some like activision big wigs got in there and were like you know what the kids like yeah uh, costumes yeah yeah you need more colors mm-hmm. um, so, but know, also like, look how at, can we monetize how can we make look, more money look at some of the older call of duty games they they always do like it's they treyarch treyarch has always like done that to the call of duty series. it's not just it's not just treyarch like in like, well, uh, treyarch advanced warfare was just it. as bad no, uh, no, one hundred percent. But what I'm saying is, Treyarch Ghosts, started that. Like, I mean, I hands guess down. No, I, I'm not gonna even say like, I guess you, it, you just hate Treyarch. I don't so hate like Treyarch. Treyarch ever do I think they added a lot of <laughs> cool features into what the Call of Duty series, but they were the beginning of the end for like realism in Call of Duty. The third Call of Duty is where they started trying to like shoehorn in random crap, like not two out there but like five then they started going like okay let's see what else we can push the boundaries with and then yeah. black ops came out and all of a sudden it's just like candy coated guns it's just like yeah. what uh I mean, black ops one doesn't have any of that stuff it has a little bit it's not as I like it doesn't have any of that stuff i like how we're talking about black ops again anyhow oh, no. yeah uh, the, anyway, new maps. the new maps oil oh, wait, well, the oh, oh, oh uh, one quick thing about the battle pass is i i wanted to complain about some of the blueprint skins of the weapons they're matte black for the weapons that already have base color of black well done it's... yeah i agree with you a lot of the, it's just a lot of like the skins are kind darker of more so lazy metal. Like i mean i know them... i know you're trying to go stealth but seriously like you're trying you're making money off of just point. yeah i think the black is just for like intimidation yeah, yeah but like just might as well just stay with the black. the base color of black like who like wow well no Anyways. so like yeah for it's some of though, them right? it, it's good because oh, wow. like, the, yeah. the uh the scar gets like a good variant and and um what's the uh the l86 has a good free one right at the beginning of the pass I like but harbor. like other than that um harbor and I oil rig like harbor are pretty good yeah let's start with oil um, ring huh yeah it's apparently a kind of i don't know if it's exactly a remake or if it's like inspired by a modern warfare 3 map called offshore wow um but uh yeah there's like people saying that uh it's pretty good it's like you know it it's very like or i i've noticed this about uh all of the kind of newer maps is they feel way more classic in the form of like they're very lane based yeah yeah that's why i like them it feels very much like what's a coal coal cart place map coal cart what's that coal cart Um, i know what you're talking about yeah the train uh, in the middle cave train no not not cave cave one um Uh. i know I know what you're talking state. about. We know oh, what we're talking oh, about. We yeah. But yeah, it feels yeah, gun like that. Gun, gun, gun runner. Yeah, it feels yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't like, like that map actually. As, as, uh... it's, I mean, that it's map's really got more like verticality and elevation to it, which is maybe lanes, why you don't like it. Lanes, eh, um, it lanes are highly effective. Like, yeah, I, it, it replay, the replayability of it is. Yeah, there's a reason effective. why like most games go with th- two or three lanes because it just works. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it has less to do with replayability and more to do with like predictability map, like battle sense, right? Right, So it's like it's the problem that people have with Battlefield all the time, and that like you can. I always hear the complaint of like I don't know where I'm getting shot from. I don't know where to go. I don't know where combat's happening. I don't know where the front is. That's right. That's the cool thing about Call of Duty. Unless if you're standing in the middle of the map, there's always something against your back if you're positioned properly. Mm -hmm. It's very well designed. Or at least a lot. But again, it's like not all different styles of play for like different games, right? So like for Call of Duty, I think that style of map design is like a better style of map design. Where yeah. for Battlefield, I hate those maps. I hate like lane-based maps in Battlefield because <laughs> they work. 
they end up becoming like meat grinders. Yeah, works. yeah meat grinders. Yeah. Right, because yeah. you have too you many players and stuff like that. To you need a. The, That's what turns me off the, about Battlefield, I think. The well, I mean, it's only certain maps. The best yeah. Battlefield maps are like a nice balance of like kind of contained smaller battle spaces with more open traversal spaces. I mean, yeah. they've always excelled with the larger version of their maps, but when they did when they do the version of maps with no vehicles, the the lanes come out and then it is a meat grinder. Yeah. Well, I so find it, it needs to be again, a legit again, battlefield. Well, again, it's like if if you have a good squad, because I remember memories of there was like a metro. Uh, it's a big map yeah. that turns into a metro, and if you had a good, that's team, metro. You could you could lay down and just destroy anyone coming down a tunnel, right? And, like, and that's what's points. terrible about it. So it's like, like there's no room. So you just don't have a good, you know, squad. Though. There's no room gotta, for creativity squad, though. Right? there john yeah. oh it, yeah, yeah like true. that's what i'm oh, saying yeah. it like literally just becomes like run at the fire or try to kill better than the yeah. other people which is why we to try yeah which is why it's a good thing those maps open up so it's like once you get past that position you know the, the, the bigger map opens up it's, but the, the lower that. play count of uh yeah. call of duty definitely suit themselves better to these like mm -hmm. lane based maps yeah so okay. yeah both of these maps i think aesthetically are really nice and yeah. uh like game flow wise are designed yeah. nicely well, the reason why Harbor is designed really well is because it is a remake. <gasps> it, oh, it's uh, it's based off. If you click on the image, it's based off of the original first Call of Duty, uh, uh, back oh, in two thousand one. Wow. That's exactly it. And uh, yeah, I put a a a lot of hours. Let's just say that. Oh, in, no. in that map. And I was gonna it's give props pretty, to it's, Infinity it's like, Ward. It's like 90, 90 to ninety five percent accurate. With it is Infinity small... Ward. It's still uh, their map. Oh no! I mean, I mean, making a new map. I thought. No, it's, I'm, 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 I thought it was a complete new map because all the new, like, completely original maps so far, I don't like. Yeah. And well, I, I, I really like this map, but well, hearing that it's well, not original, it's you wouldn't sad. have known. You wouldn't have known, and it's not a, a recent map. Like th they haven't yeah, remade this like, map yeah, since their... two thousand and one. Like all these little these kids playing this like Call of Duty this version of Call of Duty, but now they won't realize what I what they went you playing like, what on we this map. Cool, nice yeah. flex. Nice I know. Flex. No, the, the Back in my that, day, my problem is that all the new are, maps, I don't like them. It's like yeah. new original maps, I don't like them. So okay, it's like, are we it's, yeah, yeah, let's, let's move so. on. More okay, Duty. so we're ready to move on. Almost an hour. Okay. <laughs> I told you. Yay! What do you mean almost an hour? That was thirty minutes. No. Thirty minutes. It was well, PG like thirty-five likes, minutes. Joey, PG I'm likes to round up. <laughs> um. Okay. So moving on. Let's get down to business, Joey. Yes. Yeah. Mulan is uh, coming <laughs> to. <laughs> I thought you said moving on twice. <laughs> no. Mulan, the live-action Disney remake that is, I guess you oh, call it a remake, yes. I suppose. Yeah, it's a remake. Uh, yeah. We'll be coming so straight to Disney Plus. Uh, wow. Because of, you know, the pandemic happening and nobody can go to theaters and whatnot. Oh, theaters closed. So, How much is it, Joey? How much uh, is it? So, to watch the movie, you Get will need guys. to be uh, a premium. Well, you have to have the, like, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. The subscription so, service Disney. in the uh -huh. first place. And Didn't then it? you have to have you have to pay a premium rental price. Oh, what, how, premium. how much is that? Thirty dollars. <laughs> oh my god! So ridiculous. Wow. But is it ridiculous? Is it? Is it? Guys? I believe it yes. is. If it was twenty bucks, the price of a ticket now, then yes, because thirty bucks in our area is like the price of IMAX right now. And I'm okay, gonna be Garrett, watching on my TV. You can't account for how many people are going to be watching this movie. Yeah. Right. You, can't. you pay you pay one thirty thirty dollar fee. Yeah, and you but could that's have unfair. A twenty person watch party. That's uh, that's unfair for but the people Mulan. who are just watching it by themselves. <laughs> I mean it's not an Avengers movie, it's fucking Mulan. Whoa, like, whoa, what do you have against Mulan? Like, I, I have nothing against Mulan, but, whoa. but, but like, you understand that yeah, like so, that's the reality of the situation. Yeah, so like they have me, to price accordingly. This this is a movie on a like a, a theatrical release budget. It's a much bigger budget than what you'd have on like a uh a, a, a Disney Plus original, you know, movie. Those are much smaller, like the um what come on, come on, throw throw me an original Disney Plus movie. Yeah, oh, but um, like, title. go on. Uh, uh, tramp, tramp, and the the the, the dog the tramp? And the tramp. 
Lady of the Tramp. Uh-huh. That was made specifically for for Disney Plus, Shades much DVD. smaller budget. So but, Mulan itself is a much bigger budget. So they're they're trying to recoup all their losses because of this whole pandemic. Okay, so that's the I get that, but like it's the yeah. same ideology as in retail. If you fuck up and you, like something goes wrong and it's out of your control, but at the same time it's not the customer's fault. They call it eating it, and that's kind of what this is. They got to eat it. Mm-hmm. It's that's what I'm saying. Like, At thirty dollars, like, they are eating it. They're, they're eating it, yeah, because they're gonna get a lot less views or, or tickets out, sold because of this. That yeah, price. Well, point. they're also not gonna. I so, I don't think yeah. this is gonna do too hard. As, as someone who would watch it, like just on on their computer when whenever they would get a chance. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch thirty dollars to watch it on my tablet. <laughs> I'll just I'll just wait until it hits streaming after three months. Right. Like, sure. I'll but wait. like yeah. you they'll lose have, even more money. If it was in theaters, theoretically, you would have gone with nope. a group of four and collectively spent eighty dollars. Yeah. I would have it's waited. A, the to the see problem the, also also the problem yeah, that, that's well, the I mean, but that's you, but like regardless is that the people like, in this group aren't gonna watch this movie when it comes yeah, out. I was like, if it did come out take, in theaters, that's the take problem. Yourself wait, out what are you talking I want I want I told you specifically I wanted to watch this. Oh, okay. PJ, me and yeah. I'm assuming Joey aren't interested in watching this movie. Oh yeah, I couldn't give a rat's ass on um, Yeah. But the point remains I like the like, action. A group would have gone to see it and like a group of five is spending a hundred dollars or more to you see the movie. To make Whereas you can easily action. pay thirty dollars now and have those five people come and watch the movie for 70% I mean, less than they would I mean, have. If you guys are willing for is, all of us to pay, is, let's pay pal and, uh, we'll, this has nothing to do with us. Uh, yeah, it's nothing no, to that's what I'm saying though. We'll, we'll discord, we'll discord like, it and we'll, we'll pitch in to get the 30 if bucks. Disney's, if Disney's having that much of an issue in, with cash Catboy. flow, like, like are, why are. why are there so many other movies that are will, are able to hold off until next year then without and Mulan has to come out like why why does that production company uh and all the people that are involved with I it think, have to suffer I it's, think it, I think it's a test they're right. testing the audience this is what they're doing right now oh it's right. well it's yeah. going to fail I don't know why I Mulan know. was the I test. I don't think this is going to fail. No, I, I don't think it's going to be wildly successful. I don't think. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say wildly successful, but I think it's not going to. It's not going to be as a bomb like as many people would are going to yeah. think it is going to be. Imagine, imagine people watching. But, this. Imagine who subscribes to Disney Plus. Their families and a family. They're going to be bored Friday night or the weekend. They're going to pay thirty bucks. Yeah, I I think that's just kind of a, like a tough thing to look at though because like. If I was in that situation and my kids were going, let's watch and move along, I would yeah. be like, that's $30. No, you'd be like, heck yeah, because if I had to do this outside, go to the movie theaters, I would have to buy $10 per ticket. Or, or yeah, how, you know, but okay. And then I have to buy popcorn. But that's an experience, that, uh, right? Okay, yeah. you're also considering people having surround sound with an 80-inch uh, TV yeah, or no, projector. But like, do you need that? Oh, wait, if yeah, you that's have the thing. Like, like a this tiny becomes, ass TV, like, are you really gonna a, pay thirty bucks a for crank that TV? Again, again, this it's becomes not a us. discussion. It's not us of, yeah, you know, that becomes a discussion night, about whether or not people care about the theater experience. Yeah. Right? I do. I, I for one, yeah. I personally oh. would pay more to see movies at home than oh, to okay. go to the theater because <laughs> I hate. <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> so, yeah, so this is my point. This is, this is Joey. I don't I, know about that. I, the I am in Garrett's sucks. boat. You have to deal with other people. You have to yeah. pay ex- like ridiculous amounts for the snacks and, and stuff. Unless you have to deal with kids watching Mulan. Yeah. I, I, I mean, want the movie that are asking theory. questions. Like, you're projecting like kids onto me, but it doesn't even have to do with kids. It no, I know it doesn't. People I'm just in general, people on their phones, people making noise. Like, you're yeah. You don't like it's the, a nicer experience at home where you don't have to deal with any of that. Yeah, shit. but you don't get the full ex- like yes, that's a downside, but you don't get the full experience of watching it as I don't the, know, the, man, as wa- they intended it. Yeah, I, I sure. agree with, with Garrick sure, about how I a guess. movie experience is, but I I do think more people are like Joey and would rather not deal with my that. my and point I, is I like is that big IMAX screen and that surround sound doesn't like it make me understand project. the story any better or oh, yeah. really like you know well, it yeah, it might make the visuals better but like i experience. still understand what happened in the movie 
and can enjoy yeah. the story, right? Yeah. I mean, and IMAX like, is not a it's it's not for well, edgy not even thing. not even just IMAX in general, but like, uh, what is that? Hello, Hello? is that a bomb? Oh Hello? God! I don't know. Hello. Hello. I'm scared. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh God. No, I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, is that, oh, your room? No, it's not. It's only coming over the headphones. Oh, that's bizarre. No, I hear it when you're talking. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I figured it out. It's coming out over my headphones for some reason. No, it's about <laughs> to explode. Sure. Basically, like, I personally can, like, give up those like extra features of the movie experience per se for the oh, God. uh for the comfort of being able to watch a new movie at home yeah just wait three months <laughs> what if i was talking about it and how cool it is though like i had to do it well maybe maybe this does so well that they're gonna continue charging 30 bucks yeah. For like oh years. God! Yeah. Well, in that case, I'll just wait three months. <laughs> no, no, like years, years. Oh, for years? Oh, yeah, wow. Years. What? What oh, is it so successful? I don't know. Yeah, because they have to recoup it for years. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if let's I mean, see how have... stupid the general public is. Well, well, I don't think you you forget. I don't think the theaters will let that happen. Like, they they suffer enough, so. No, but or, if it does well, for and production they only companies lose... to say, I think this is a better way. Let's cut out the middleman and like oh, yeah. crash a whole industry. Off... Right? Yeah, that could. They happen, could. You know, they so, easily like, could. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? So all hell is going to break loose. They lose what whatever two million dollars, but that like how much of that would they be paying to someone anyhow it's way more than two million but how much yeah. would they be paying that to the theaters anyhow so instead oh let's right. just slash that and then we don't have to advertise as much yeah. and we advertise for ourselves specifically and then people yeah. go directly to us but, and we don't have to deal with their stupid asses but anymore theaters theaters are already nickeled nickeled and dimed by production companies they are but so. that's what i'm saying like that's the production companies are bullying them and treating them like shit because they already don't like them. They were using them because they had no choice. Now they do have a choice. What's going to happen now? They're like the, well, you, the cousin that you, no one likes. Yeah, like the, well, you or the theaters could like, they were the ones with all the power before because it was yeah. like if you wanted your movie to be shown, if you wanted to make any money, you needed to rely on the theaters. And that's not the yeah. case anymore. The theaters have lost all of their power. Mm -hmm. Or not all of it, but like a good a amount of it. of it. Yeah. You also have a lot of filmmakers that think that their their movie is only like the only proper way to experience the movie isn't there. Like again, Tenet, uh, Christopher Nolan, he's like he keeps pushing that back because he wants he thinks that his movie, mm -hmm. which I do agree. I think his I'm movie happy is, about is a, a event. It's like it's like I don't yeah. know. It's comparing like watching the ball game at home or going to the field and watching. It, you know, it's like I know some people for some reason they have good every day, every. Every see, day see, but the, this is you know, this is exactly the point. You're you're the sports fan of movies. Yeah, yeah. So and I I I don't that's get people going thing. to the, the arena to watch sports because like I when I whenever I I've been there I can't the see the screen sports. I can't see the field you know so yeah. it's like I rather watch it at I TV just, with a nice camera. Angle just go there like to buy an expensive hot dog. Yeah, I don't. But for me, <laughs> it's, it's the experience. It's like, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want the movie theater experience. Okay, yeah. so Mulan, we'll straight to Disney Plus. Intriguing. I Let's see how it pans out. I'm, yeah, I'm intrigued because th if this is successful, mm -hmm. that means a lot of a lot of changes are going to be I'm made. saying right yeah. now. Goodbye, I'll movie put, theaters. Yeah. I'll put five yeah. bucks into this if everyone wants to watch it on Discord. <laughs> I'm not interested. No. In I'm not going to watch no. it. No, okay, then. I'll we'll wait. Get, I'll, I'll wait for draw. three months. I have uh, other reasons for why I don't want to watch Mulan. But... Okay, oh. moving on. Oh, Chillcast. Well, that'll be a topic yeah, for Chillcast. Sure. Moving on. Uh, G4, <gasps> the <gasps> TV network that was all about video games, wow. has been teasing a return. Ooh, boy. Right now, there's like basically no details. So stupid. About, cool. about what the return can really be. Uh, but, who who um, has watched this channel? 
I think all of us have. High school, middle school. Me. Days, right? I watched Attack yeah. of the Show all the time. Yeah, it's Screw Attack. Attack. I didn't watch it a lot, but I'm familiar with G4. Yeah. Uh, Back when I mean, my when I lived up in Cayucas for a little while with my mom during the summers, we had this part of our TV package, and I like whenever Attack of the Show is on, like I would have it bookmarked in a timer ready for it because this would be like the show that I would watch every day. So yeah. it is a it is definitely a nostalgia point for me, and I miss it. So I'm glad to see it coming back. I hope it comes back as a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, wow. that's what I was gonna say. Is it gonna just be a, how? Or I don't care. About Either that, or yeah, maybe so. an I, Amazon Prime yeah. series. Like, I, oh wow, I think it should come back as a live Twitch channel. Life, yeah. oh, that'd be cool too. Be like twenty four yeah. seven like coverage, but they do like reruns of the old stuff. Well. Do yeah. you guys think it'll show up on cable at all still? Or no. Or is that I think it's that too passed? far dead, but it's possible. I just I feel like that'd be a horrible I... move for them because that's Cause, where it died. Because here's yeah. my theory. My theory is because competitive gaming and esports is becoming more and more popular and less of a stigma, uh, like be, less being stigma stigmatized. I think it has a like potential to be part of like cable because it's like watching your favorite sports team playing no, but their game those uh, people aren't is. gonna have cable wait they're not gonna also, care it is esports is on espn right yeah but, but more hmm. representation because now you have a a, 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 a network dedicated to that, I, so. I don't know i feel differently about that i would rather g4 not be flooded with esports content that i don't care about like i'd rather it not be the like esports channel where like yeah. it's a bunch of different games that I'm not interested in 24 seven, you know, yeah. I would rather it be like a mixture More... of like video game news and like discussion and like tech. Yeah. Like I think they should integrate tech stuff in there more too than they did oh, before. That's a good idea. Maybe like because more so like more championship kind of situations. Like sure, cause... you can have like events and stuff like that, but yeah. like I mean, like I don't want a good portion of their block dedicated to yeah. esports. No, that stuff. would be I agree, it would be boring, but And like, those those in terms of like internet like yeah, we're talking about like a cable It makes network. sense for advertisers. Sure, but like if we're talking like a internet channel, which I think this is more likely to be cuz I don't I I don't expect them to try to jump back into cable. I think cable is kind of a dying format and like they know that. Yeah um so like i expect that they're probably going to try knows? to focus primarily who knows you might you know you never know but i i yeah. expect that they're probably going to try to focus on like internet yeah. it stuff. might be wrapped up in a uh in like a, a like a hulu package or something oh yeah, yeah maybe i, I can see that's that still too. kind of like effectively internet right right um, i think i think the format for the the audience is all web-based now like the audience that they're going to be geared towards doesn't give a shit about TV anymore. Yeah. yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the few that do yeah. watch TV because like they want food network or whatever, but food networks even going on YouTube, they're jumping shit from regular networks. Like, or ABC at least like too, dipping their is. toes. Yeah, they're, they're, dipping, they're dipping episodes up. Yeah, well, I mean, even ABC, I think, has their own Twitch channel now. Not continuously, but they've yeah. they've well, had ABC live uh, also had showings. Their streaming service too. So that too. So it's just like it doesn't make sense for them to go back to TV. Where, like I said, they died there. They shouldn't go back to their their dead body. Let's find something new. So I'm excited to see it possibly on YouTube. That's my my perspective thoughts on it, or Twitch, like you said, Twitch would be really cool too. Or it'll probably be on Amazon Prime. Uh, no, not Amazon Prime. Uh, NBC Universal Streaming Services. They're they're oh, they're, they're uh, streaming provider thingy blah blah. Yeah, exactly. Because huh. that's that's who owns it. I don't know, man. Like, there's so many streaming services that you're you're following, or like they're they are falling into the same trap that yeah. 
like it's cable back to did, cable. Yeah, right? It's, it's the where, same problem. Really. It's like the exact same issue where it's like if you want all of these, you, like everything comes in a package of a like streaming service, and like if you want everything, you're gonna end up, you're gonna end up ultimately paying like sixty dollars to a hundred dollars a month yeah. for all of these different mm-hmm. services: your ABC, your CBS, yeah. your HBO, now. HBO your uh, NBC, well, Netflix, Hulu, if you so have those. I, like... I find it funny after all these years later, like I used to talk to people in college and stuff like that and, and in high school and I would ask them like, oh, what do you watch on TV? Because like I'd be trying to just talk to them about something and they're like, oh, I don't, I don't have TV. And you're like, what? And it's like at that point it was weird and strange for people to not have that kind of shit. And it's like you, you'd say like, oh, you don't watch any shows or anything? And so I don't have cable now, but like it, I think it's more common to not have cable because of all these other alternatives, but like sitting there thinking, Oh shit, why, uh, how did they survive well, without these, these options or without watching TV? I, it's just like, I don't have the time for that crap. True. So, and so I also feel like, the point? um, nowadays, a lot of the, like, water cooler talk is around shows that are on streaming services right other than hbo originally because you know the hbo max stuff is new um like hbo is kind of the only but again hbo is like its own thing you pay individually for hbo it's like a premier tv channel um but like in terms of like like you know regular cable television i feel like those shows aren't getting nearly as much like um space in the like zeitgeist whereas things like stranger things or you know like you know i just feel like streaming shows or like shows that premiere or are only on these streaming services are the ones that are getting really talked about yeah but again that might just be biased because of like the sources of information that we consume and like you know also a lot of those big shows are also i mean uh like on i don't know uh what's it called uh what's walking dead on walking dead's on amc uh amc yeah amc you can even stream their stuff on you know you can you can pay for their service like all pretty much all the shows you have access online anyways so i don't think there's any really like it's like at least big shows that you talk about um I don't think there's really that issue for premiere. Eh. Yeah. I know. Well, uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, I don't have enough of a, like an actual point for TV because I don't watch it. I haven't watched it in years. Yeah. And um, we don't really, they haven't really given a whole lot of information as to what the G4 stuff is going to be. I'm just so. excited about it. Cool. Yeah, we'll just have to see how that develops. I'm not over. See what happens uh, with it. Okay, we're gonna move on to our couple closing topics. Oh wow! First one, Fall Guys is Devolver oh. Digital's best, biggest launch ever, with over oh. 100,000 players and a, so cool. a number four rating on Steam or like ranking oh. on. Is that player, like consecutive player, or is that it's like That's sales? That's viewer count. Like? Pretty sure. Is on it? Steam? Oh, Steam. I thought you meant on player Twitch. Count. Okay, play, player so count. Okay, so consecutive um, player count. Probably like downloads, because uh, cause it's free to play on PS, PSN Plus or whatever you call it. Yeah, it's free thing. to play on PS4 right now. But PS you have Plus. to pay for it on Steam. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's actually so you don't third. Know, on the browse tab right now for Twitch. That's yeah, I would be surprised. So, so yeah. So go, so, go ahead and explain what kind of game it is because it's a really interesting game and I would love to play it. It's I describe Fall Guys as like, um, like wipe out the TV yeah, show. Yeah. I get that. But a battle royale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it starts. There's like, uh, it's kind of got like vibes of like gang beasts uh-huh. or like human fall flat mm-hmm. where you're yeah. kind of like this small pudgy figure that that's doesn't like minion. yeah that's like, like kind of weighty um and you, your only options you can jump and you can dive out of your jump and you can grab people right yeah. and then basically 
Or objects, yeah. And basically the game is 60 players start and there's like various challenges that are like obstacle like, courses or like mini games of sort. Yeah. There's like a, a Rocket League-esque uh, like soccer one and uh, there's a team one where uh, it's basically like uh, like capture the flag. Like there's like players with tails and you have to like get the tail, like grab the tails off of them and the team who holds the most tails uh, advances. Um, so yeah, it's just like a bunch of wacky mini games. Yeah. And then eventually think, you get to the end where one person is like crowned the champion. Think of it and, as like a Japanese game show as well. Like yeah, yeah. kind of looks like that. And then a little bit of Mario Party game uh, mini games as well in there too. So it's a nice, it's a nice concept. Yeah, it's, a, and it's got it's, really cute aesthetics. Like, yeah, and it's like, who would have thought that this battle royale would be like put right beside like PUBG and and Fortnite and stuff in the same genre? Like, well, I mean, it's a like cool it, concept. It's it's like a is and it isn't right because yeah. it's like yeah. like it's only battle royale in the sense of like you start with a lot of players and you end up with one player right mm -hmm. and like i think this is an interesting trend that we could potentially see of like a broadening of what is the battle royale right. um genre right like yeah. we kind of already seen this a little bit with like tetris 99 right like tetris mm -hmm. battle royale what is this Whoa. Mm -hmm. and like i think this is very much kind of in the same vein of like let's take the core idea of starting with a bunch of players and being the last one standing yeah. and yeah. apply yeah. it to different play state like play like styles Grand different Turismo game battle genres. Royale oh, right what if oh, there's like wow. a racing yeah. battle royale right yeah, it's like a, a like um uh like i could see them doing that like uh which one's the one that has the entire like globe or not the globe it has like the entire uh united states oh yeah uh, uh, it's like Ubisoft one that like wasn't very successful, but like imagine like yeah. you start in New York and you have to get to LA, and as you like go, there's like a wall, and if you can't stay faster than the wall, you get like eaten up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like yeah. a race to get to the other end before everybody else. I don't know. There's like that's interesting. It's it's like on the verge of almost tournament. Like you can almost say it's tournament without like the pauses. Yeah, I like, like that. I like it's that. interesting. It's like you, the game just keeps going. Um, I, oh, another thing interesting is that like it's free to it's pretty much free for all, but you can you can load up with like uh, up to four players, I believe. Like yeah, you can queue in go, a group. Yeah, but it's still free for all. But the cool thing is that there's some mini games where you have to work with your opponent. So it's there's like team based well. games. Okay. Yeah. Right. So cool. it'll be like that's the thing. They like let's say to fit, like, new like, games. In there. Let's say there's like 30 players left. They'll split every up everybody up into teams of 10, and like yes. you will you're guaranteed to get matched with your four buddies when you get put into those team games. So, um, but yeah, what were you saying, John? I was like, is there news of how, if they're gonna keep it updated? You know, new games. New games I don't know. Like that. Because yeah, like it's it might get a little old if it's I don't know maybe some people like doing the same uh, obstacles over and over again. No, I think that people are already kind of starting to feel the fatigue of the mini yeah. games yeah. of like just getting the same games over and over again. It's Mario yeah. Party in a bigger yeah sense. Yeah, so it's like if it was yeah like Mario Party, I wouldn't play that every day. It's just no. more of a fun party game. I bet yeah. they can uh, have a, a battle pass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do have a battle pass. Oh God! Oh, yeah. yeah, you don't have to pay I... for it though. Okay. Because that's what I suspect. You because you can have unique like characters and stuff, and they can just keep on drawing them yeah. up or whatever, and they can make yeah. money off of that. Sustainable. Well, no, they're like costumes that you put on the, your fall guy. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I, no I was gonna say that. this game can only have purely aesthetic purchases or downloads. Yeah. They don't Again, have weapon blueprints? Oh. Uh, looking at the like perspective of it making money, um, this is like definitely a game that your kids can play. Right. And oh, yeah. you'd probably be cards. more down for letting your kid play than Fortnite. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, I think this has because, like, Fortnite this might even be I a think, younger audience, though. Even yeah, though I think it appeals to everybody. I'd play it. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, you can have even younger audience than Fortnite. Like Fortnite, yeah. I think like maybe six is the beginning. Like the that's even pushing it. Maybe eight. Like but, fifth grade. Fifth grade is like Fallout age. So that's like ten, right? Yeah, yeah. So like that's where you start like having that. Oh yeah, that that's fine. My kid can play a shooter as long as there's no blood, but. Like this game, you can have a six year old playing with their dad or a five year yeah. old or yeah. their mom, you know, whoever. And it's fine because mm-hmm. it's just, oh, they're cute little people just throwing each other around. It's like their brother and sisters wrestling. Like it's fine. Yeah, they're like little minions. Yeah. They're so, little yeah. banana. I love it. So, yeah, I think Fall Guys has found itself like a nice little niche to fit into. Um, and I, I don't think, think it, it has a longativity that, like, it's not going to last yeah. forever. I feel like it I, can. Just I, like Rocket League, wait, is that game called Rocket? The, the soccer yeah, game? Rocket, yeah, Rocket League. I don't. Rocket League is still popular. It. So it's like, but That's I feel like true. it's the same. It's in the same uh, ballpark, you know. It's like yeah, kind of. where it's got just like a raging community that nobody's paying attention yeah. to. Yeah. Um. So. Also, I'd yeah. never heard of this game until like when it released. All like all the influencers and YouTube were like making videos of, of this. Yeah, yeah why didn't we get a copy? What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, my God. This is definitely, like, a marketing type of thing where, like, yeah. Devolver, the publisher, is like, all right, yeah. let's send out codes out. to yeah. all, of the, all of the YouTubers, all of the, uh, all of the streamers, get them all playing it, having a good time, so people are watching them and being like, this game looks fun. I want to try this. You missed the cameraman, John. How could you? What is this bullshit? Go get cocky. <laughs> don't get cocky. Yeah. Don't just expect, don't don't just penis-y expect things from people. <laughs> um, we're all waiting. Right. Moving on, we're going to close out with uh, Bug Snacks. Oh, snacks. Bug Snacks. They finally showed actual gameplay for Bug Snacks. And uh, who would have guessed it's a first person adventure game? I know. That, I was. I was actually surprised about that. I was like, really thinking it was going to be a survival. Like, oh, well, it is. It's like first-person survival adventure, where you're yeah. like going in. But it looks like it's like heavily like quest-based. It's like you got yeah, people on the island. Psychonauts. Yeah, who are like, hey, I need this done in relation to this bug snack. Can you go help me out? How and then you go and, and. Oh man, there's a lot of bug snacks. Oh, um, I believe that there is a bug snack, uh, like what bug snack are you Instagram filter that you can go really? see now. What? Wow. Wait, hold on. Um, they're so hip. They are so hip. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks like uh, it looks like it's got some fun, interesting like bug snack trapping nice. mechanics, and oh, yeah. there looks to be like some kind of like uh, snap, city snap, snap. building mechanic. Like oh, your like wow. village grows over time. It kind of looks like. Oh really? Uh yeah. Yeah. That. And uh yeah, and of course they allude at the end to the more like mysterious potential on the island. So uh yeah, people people are definitely hoping that it starts out as like cute and fun and then devolves into like eldritch horror. That'd be cool. Oh, I like wow. that. I like that. Wait, a lot. what? So it's gonna get like deeper and deeper into like oh well, it's like it's it like twisted. on the surface it's like fun you yeah. know the bugs the are snacks thickens. and then as you like get deeper into the story you start to find out that there's like some crazy stuff yeah. going on in the yeah. background Actually, story-wise they're bugs it's a, oh, it's, bugs. A, it's a facade guys it's all oh, a cover-up is, it, it's is it gonna be like that one youtube video that was like all cutesy but it was really fucked up where they're like sitting at a breakfast table don't together. hug me i'm scared yes oh, I love yeah it. this has very it very much has like don't hug me i'm it's scared actually, vibes yeah. and they i want them to it. to dive oh. into it like i full don't body. know how i feel about that that video okay, what, gave what? me nightmares you guys need to educate me on it's this creepy. video because I am what? not. What? I'll, I'll, sh- I'll show you later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Show them. Show them. The plot thickens. You don't so, want to um, watch it. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. So, um, well, I'm very we'll into see. it. They kind of have like a setup for the story. Uh, it appears you're like a journalist 
who is like, I'm oh. going to get to the bottom of this bug snacks thing. And you're like, and oh, there's no. like, the bug snacks thing stupid. You shouldn't, you shouldn't go find out the bug snacks thing. But if, if you are going to go find out the bug snacks thing, you better come back with something good. So, yeah, you're trying to find out all about hmm. the bug snacks so that you can write a killer Wait, so article it, on said bug snacks. Is this supposed to be like a kid's game or is it supposed no, to be dark? I, like it's, it seems like it's going to get really dark really quick. Yeah, I, I, I think that it's supposed to be a like, like I said, I think it's supposed to be like light on video. the surface. Yeah. yeah, you watch the trailers. What you watch? No, it, I, I, no, no, no. I I'm did. talking about. He needs to watch. Don't hug me. I'm scared. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he'll watch, automatically me, get into get the it. mindset. Like, okay. oh, that's what this is. Also, I'm a but green you got... peel bug. That's, if if anyone's interested, it's like a lime uh, uh, pill bug. Oh, you did the thing. Oh, great peel yeah. bug. I love it. But <laughs> wait, did you get all of that from watching this gameplay trailer, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Like because of the end. Well, not not just this gameplay trailer, but like the original reveal okay. of the game, right? It's very okay. much like yeah, yeah. like it comes off with the. It seems like it's coming at you with the facade of being this like happy, fun, like kids' cartoon type oh, of aesthetic. Okay. Yeah, but I then remember that other when you're yeah. actually playing it, it's gonna hit you with like a more oh, dark, sinister. Oh, plot I, love, line. I love when games do that. Or just yeah. media in general. Yeah. So nice. I'm very into bug snacks. Yeah. I know that like it came out of the like reveal event being kind of a meme. Where it's like, oh bug snacks, look at bug snacks. This is like a weird nonsense the, game. The gameplay for, does for look kids. I mean, the game does look decent. Like I, I the, yeah. the announcement trailer looked just kind of Yeah, the the announcement trailer didn't really show that much. It, it yeah, was just kind true. of like close-ups of the characters and some environmental shots whereas yeah. like this trailer you're very clearly seeing like what the game is right and it gives me not necessarily like viva pinata vibes i actually kind of get it's gonna sound weird but i kind of get like banjo kazooie nuts and bolts vibes yeah, yeah. i could see where that. I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys yeah. ever played that game but it was basically like you would load into a map and then there would be npcs on the map that are like hey I need this done or you need to do this challenge or whatever mm -hmm. and then you would like build a vehicle to complete that challenge huh. or like pull out one of your vehicles that you had designed for those types of challenges or whatever yeah. and I think <laughs> this is going to be a similar thing of like walk up to NPC they're like hey I need you to go catch this bug snack and you can approach the catching of the bug snack from whatever way you want yeah oh, that's so cool yeah, it would be uh -huh. cool to see that. I I hope it doesn't devolve into like absolute madness, madness like we think it will. But because I think it's gonna be freaky. But what Have if it's like uh, Joey? You're just pulling out of your ass. Don't, don't don't listen to Joey, TJ. It's cute. It's bed yeah, it's cute. Like little puppets. I I yeah. I, I also like feel like puppets. it will kind of be like uh, the water log ride at Disneyland, where that gets a little serious at the end too. Oh, yeah, let's not oh, bring up that one. <laughs> uh, Why? But I think that's going to do it for us uh, here is. on oh, the wow. Fat Peeves podcast. Why? Uh, what a fun ride, guys. What, what happened? So fun ride. Did someone die on that ride? No, just drop it. Oh. I'm um, scared, though. So, uh. thank you guys for listening. Mm -hmm. We have been the Fat Peeves. Uh, mm -hmm. what, before we leave, what, what's going on oh. on the YouTube? John broke his, oh, his day. I have no idea, dude. Yeah, oh, no. Broke my day. Uh, Wait, what? Uh, Assassin's is? Creed is officially on a hiatus right now. So, oh, uh, no. Tune in on... So expect. Uh, tune in the day before this comes out to see what ends up happening. Oh, wow. Time <laughs> <Fun> travelers. <laughs> wow. Can't wait. So, as you saw yesterday... I'm confused. Assassin's Creed did not get uploaded and something else oh, got uploaded oh, instead. Shucks. So we I hope that you that enjoy be... it, whatever it was. Uh, definitely leave Ooh. the comments right here. If you liked it, if it you or not. Like this to continue or not. Yes. Or I'll just Please, say yes. Please, Please say yes. Please say yes so we can honest. play that more. We did enjoy it. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Right? Also, you, I, you, did, you guys liked it, right? Yeah, that was fun. I think John got miserable towards the end, but it was funny. Because uh, he killed himself. 
Like it's not our fault. It's a user. Whoa! Problem. Spoilers. Okay, well I'm not releasing it now because you spoiled oh. it. No reason. No, to watch but it. this came out a day oh, after goodness. already. So, so they, everyone they already knew. So everyone knew. Everybody. Okay. Okay. So next. Wednesday's this. Thursday's uh more Child of Light. Once again, we're approaching <laughs> ever so closely to the end. Probably <laughs> like two, like two more months. Allegedly. Yeah, exactly. oh, <laughs> that's more accurate. There you and go. then uh, also another dub coming our way because oh, we, we yeah. have a few in the, the spank bank what? ready to go. Uh, Wait, yeah. I hope you guys like uh, like the Warzone dub that we did uh, that came out on Sunday. It was a funny one because I PJ it. suffered again. Yep, I always <laughs> suffer. I, I am yes. the uh, object of ridicule. And then this week mm. on uh, Cameraman John's stream. So Monday will already have been over, so you hopefully had watched it. Wow. Uh, tonight. What, what did we play, John? Minecraft. Oh, let, me, let me go in the future. Okay. We played Minecraft. Wow. wow. Remember when that thing happened, guys? Oh, yeah, that was the nice. one with the, with the blocks and, the, oh, and yeah. Sarah making, putting two stick, uh, making yeah. a torch. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wednesday will be forced again, right? What? Uh, that's Force yeah, Fridays will now. you be joining us? Uh, Force Fridays now? PJ? Oh, it's Force Fridays now? I thought you were going back to Call of no. Duty on Friday. No. Oh, we'll figure this yeah. out. Don't listen to us right now. <laughs> Let's yeah. end it. Okay, Whatever. We'll the stream, okay. the okay, stream is getting figured out, so so yeah. check out Cameraman John's stream. You'll see. And things will happen. We'll I'm just hitting on my own people will be there. Uh, We're going to be back uh, with another podcast next week, so stay tuned for that. But we're closing out here. Thanks, everybody, for listening, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, bye everybody. Uh, bye. Have a good night. Or Tim? day. Tim? Tim? Is that you, Tim? Wait, wait Punk? Tim? Tim's Hello? driving in. Hi, Tim! <laughs>